Hi everyone, welcome back to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today we're going to be doing an overview and a quick benchmark run of this SSD. This is a Patriot Wildfire 120 gigabyte SSD and it is based on a Sandforce 2200 controller. More specifically, the Sand Sandforce 2281 controller. So first off, a closer look at what you get inside the box. It does come with a 2.5 inch to 3.5 inch drive bay adapter. Since this is a 2.5 inch drive, you can mount the drive to this and it will fit in a 3.5 inch drive bay. They've also included eight black screws, four of them to mount the drive to the adapter and four more to mount the adapter to your case. Inside the products box, we have some detailed product specifications here, including some detailed information on the size of the drive itself. Also down here, we have some more information. I'm not going to go over all of this, but I would like to point out that it does support RAID modes 0, 1, and 0 plus 1. Operating system support for Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Linux, and Mac operating system. And finally, a three-year manufacturer warranty. Now let's take a closer look at the drive itself. We can see the Patriot Wildfire sticker right there on the top. Again, this is the 120 gigabyte version. It is also available in 240 and 480 gigabyte versions. Uh, we have sort of a graphite finish. It's held together with Torx screws. Looking here from the edge, you can see it's got a beveled silver edge on one side. And finally, on the reverse, we can see the detailed product information, Patriot memory logo, and we can see that this uses MLC memory. Speaking of which, the NAND flash memory inside is 32 nanometer MLC memory. It's manufactured by Toshiba. And once again, it's a sand force control drive based on the SF2281 controller. Finally, here at the back, we can see our 15 pin power and seven pin data connectors. Next up, we're gonna share a few quick benchmark results. I have ran some benchmarks with this drive on our new test bed over here. Uh, we're using a Gigabyte Z68X UD7 B3 motherboard, so that's the Z68 chipset, and I've connected our Wildfire SSD to the uh, serial ATA6 gigabit per second port uh, from the Z68 chipset. Uh, first off, Right over here, we have the results from Crystal Disk Mark. And uh, my results came up with about 510 megabytes per second. That's maximum in the 1000 megabyte test. Uh, once again, this Crystal Disk Mark, and we're on version 3.0.1. Uh, so we topped that well over 500 megabytes per second for sequential reads, uh, about 260 megabytes per second for sequential writes. Uh, for 512K block, we got 446. And then finally, uh, moving down here to the bottom for our QDEP32 stuff, we got 189.2 megabytes per second for reads and 216.5 megabytes per second for writes. If you will scroll over to our detailed results here, we can see that input output operates input output operations per second on those QDEP32 items, uh, we got up to about 46,000 for reads and 52,000 for writes. So some pretty impressive numbers, uh, especially considering that we are using this uh, new Sandforce controller. Next up we have AS SSD. We're running version 1.6.4 something. And for sequential writes, we can see pretty similar results to our Crystal Disk Mark test. We hit 508 megabytes per second. Sequential reads, 251 megabytes per second for sequential writes. Uh, for 4K, we got 19.56 and 54.03, respectively. Uh, for our 64 threaded 4K uh, reads and writes, we got 188.38 megabytes per second and 193.09 megabytes per second. Access times were under 0.2 milliseconds, uh, 0.175 specifically for read, and 0.251 for writes. Overall score of 657. Also, I'm going to switch over to our input-output operations per seconds here. At the same time, uh, we can see the drive maxing out at about 48,000 and 49,000 for reads and writes in our 64 threaded uh, tests with AS SSD. And that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Once again, this has been the Patriot Wildfire 120 gigabyte SSD based on the Sandforce 2281 controller. My name is Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to our Newegg TV YouTube channel. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.